Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So, as promised, we have a brand new trailer for Wastelanders today, and I'm very, very excited, very, very keen to have a look at this. And as predicted, we have a release date as well now, which is very, very cool. So, let's not uh, beat about the bush, let's jump in, take a look at what they've got for us. So, Fallout 76 Wastelanders. First things first, big piece of information that I think everybody's most excited for, the release date. It is going to be out on April 7th. That's the first Tuesday in April, which is very, very cool. As we can clearly see, I was not right in my guess, <laughs> which is not hugely surprising, I suppose. But I think I can claim a small mulligan on this particular point, given that uh, April 7th is quarter two, not quarter one. So, uh, reasonable to get that guess wrong, I think. However, I was right that the... Uh, release date would be coming with the trailer so that's cool and it's also the first tuesday of the month which was also my guess so that's also very cool i'm quite happy about that but um regards to being pushing pushing the date back a little bit into quarter two it's close enough to quarter one that i'm quite happy to let that go and uh, if they want to take a little bit of extra time to get it right i think we're all in favor so Bethesda are clearly confident in this update if they've gotten us a release date. They didn't have to do that today. If they had chosen to, they could have left that bit out. So they must be reasonably confident in what's going on. They've made it very, very clear that they're hoping Wastelanders will put a lot of things right. They've also said there's going to be huge numbers of bug fixes coming along with the update, which is very, very important as well. Um, and they've also, as we know from the delay, taken the time to make sure they're getting it right. So they're clearly approaching this with the right mindset. So if they're releasing a... Re the date now, then that's a good sign that they're confident in um, what they've got for us. The other thing is that with the private test server having been running for well, about two weeks now, um, the release date being announced also implies that the feedback they're getting from the private test server and the issues that the players are finding, because of course there will be some, that's the whole point, um, are obviously reasonably minor so far and things they are confident they can fix on time, at least in the main. Um, so that's probably a good sign as well, because obviously if they were coming up with anything too horrifically glaring or that they couldn't fix on time, they could just not announce a release date. So that's very, very cool to see. So promising stuff there. But well, alongside this, we have the new trailer and a whole load of other information as well that we're going to jump to in just a second. But there's some very, very cool things in the trailer. A few bits and pieces we've seen before, a few more uh, close-ups on some new enemies, which is really cool, some new weapons, a little bit in the ways of new locations, other very, very cool things, some armor, some uh, outfits, so lots of stuff to take a look at that we're going to jump into in a sec. But this article also contains a few other bits of information that are very cool, so let's jump in and take a look at that first. So, the wait is almost over, and soon new faces will flow into the wilds of West Virginia, and it will be up to you to welcome them with open arms. Or loaded weapons. <laughs> we are excited to share that Fallout 76 owners will be able to experience the Wastelanders expansion for free on the 7th of April on Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PC through Bethesda Net. Fallout 76 will also be coming to Steam on April 7th. More on this coming up in a moment. And Wastelanders will be available to anyone who purchased the standard or deluxe editions, more on that too, of the game. In addition to introducing fully voiced NPCs to the world of Fallout 76, Wastelanders brings a brand new main questline, new locations, new enemies, new weapons, a new reputation system, and much, much more. Get ready for Wastelanders with a brand new trailer and learn more about how you'll be able to play it on April 7th. So, trailer right here. If you want to have a look at the article and see the trailer, I'm sure it's up on YouTube as well, it's definitely on Twitter. But uh, I'll link this article down in the description as well so you can peruse it at your leisure. However, I'm not going to go through the whole trailer right now. I'm not going to play it back because copyright and uh, all that good stuff. But we'll take a detailed look in just a moment. So, how to play Wastelanders. The current Fallout 76 owners will not need to purchase any additional content in order to play Wastelanders when it launches. This expansion is completely free for Fallout 76 owners. We knew this already. Always good to hear it again. I'm sure somebody out there needs it reminding. So, totally free. Of course, there'll be a big download kind of path the course, it's a full expansion, so it is what it is, but you won't have to pay for it if you've already got the game. For those who want a bit more, we're also offering for purchase two faction-themed content bundles, as well as a combination bundle, which will give players access to exclusive cosmetic and camp items. So, nice tidy little picture of Duchess here that we've seen before. We're touching her voice in the mix, it sounds very, very good. Whoops. <laughs> but the following bundles will be able to purchase 
by Fallout 76 owners. So I'm assuming this will be Atomic Shop stuff, but it seems like the logical way of releasing them. We've got a Raider content bundle and a Settler content bundle. So the Raider one's got a minecart planter, which is a small planter you can put crops in when there's no dirt available to build in your camp, which is very, very handy. I've had a few occasions where I could have used one of those, so that's very cool. Raider camp, so you can change the look of the camp deployable, the actual camp unit, give it a Raider vibe. A Raider stash box, Raider faction flag, always very cool, we need more flags. Raider Pathfinder outfit, looks to be a variation on an existing outfit, we'll have to have a look a bit closer, you guys can probably see it now, I can't as I record it. <laughs> but that looks very very cool from what I can see of it, looks um, very leatherish actually, which is cool. So, you need new, out new outfit for the Raiders. We have a Raider Conquest loot bag, which is a Raider style loot bag for when you die. Um, from the look of that, that will actually be quite a handy thing to have, as um, currently, particularly if you die in long grass, it's kind of hard to find your little brown paper bag sometimes, and this little Raider one's got a flag stuck in it, so that might be kind of helpful. There is also a Raider Pillager backpack, which is a new skin for your backpacks, um, in a Raider style, that looks pretty cool as well. And a brand new Power Armor skin, a Raider Marauder Power Armor skin, which has a unique appearance for your Power Armor based on the Crater Raiders. And that thing looks respectably terrifying. To be honest, looks pretty cool. I'm loving the glowing red eyes. Very, very cool. So for the Settler content bundle, basically the same stuff, but with a Settler theme. So you've got a garden truck bed trailer, so which is uh, a small planter. Different themes that have been a mine cart, it's a truck bed. Looks like it was probably going to be a bit larger there, so maybe a little bit more practical. So we've got a Settler themed camp unit, Settler stash box, which is slightly less cool than the Raider one I'm thinking, but there we go. Settler faction flag, a mechanic outfit, which is very, very cool, brand new outfit. It's um, somewhat reminiscent of the steel worker ones that are in the game already, but different again. It looks like we've got possibly suspenders on that, which is cool. And uh, a flat cap included with that. Both outfits include a hat. You get a bandana with a Raider one as well. Uh, a traveler loot bag, which is probably not as practical as the Raider one, given there's no flag on it, but it looks quite interesting. A load of uh, stickers on there and a brown leather bag. A relief, settler relief backpack, which I actually really like the look of. That looks, um, unless you're going down a Raider road, that looks really, really cool. A nice clean looking backpack. Uh, that'd be cool to have. And the Settler Vigilante Power Armor skin, which is based on the Foundation Settlers again. And I don't know whether or not these is specific to certain Power Armor sets. The Raider one's showing X01, where the uh, Settlers are showing T50. It might just be that's the one they've chosen to show, or it might be unique to those armors. No details here, but it does look very, very cool. There's some interesting stuff going on on the shoulders there as well. Some interesting bits of wires and stuff as well, which just uh, gives it a very kind of Organic's not the right word, but I think you know what I mean. Kind of look to it. Mechanical, I suppose, but very, very cool anyway. And of course, there's the Raider and Settler content bundle that includes both sets. And obviously, we'll come with a lot of price tag, but there we go. I suspect, personally, I'll go down the combined bundle route. I'd imagine it'd be cheaper than buying the two bundles separately, all the items on their own. That's usually the way these things work, both in life generally and on the Atomic Shop. So I will probably go down that route personally, but uh, if you want both sets, there's the option. So, for those who haven't jumped into Fallout 76 yet, you can pick up either the Fallout 76 Wastelanders edition of the game, which includes the base game content and the Wastelanders expansion, or the Fallout 76 Wastelanders Deluxe edition, which includes the full game, all the content from the Raider, Settler and, the Raider and Settler content bundles as well. So both those bundles and all the, the expansion and all the previous stuff as well. I'm assuming when it's a base game, it means everything that's already in it. I can't see them not including things like um, the Pioneer Scouts quest lines and the Wild Appalachia stuff and uh, Nuclear Winter as well, because it's already there. It is kind of the base game now, even though they were sort of added content, they're so fundamentally bundled into the game. I can't see that not being included. So. Might have been good to specify on that, but uh, I'm pretty sure it will all be there. Given that backpacks are included in this content bundle, it seems very, very likely. So, starting with the launch of Wastelanders, we'll begin phasing out the Tricentennial Edition of Fallout 76, so players will still be able to purchase the individual items on an ongoing basis. So, individual Tricentennial items, there's a word and a half, 
will be appearing in the atomic shop as uh, things do at the moment you know they move some in move some out swap them around keep the thing refreshed so you will be able to pick them up but for those of us who've uh, been playing uh, up to this point maybe a good idea to see if we can grab those as a, a little badge of pride for having gone through the the first 18 months or so because there's going to be things we've seen things we've done things we remember that uh, we touched on recently and i know rifle gaming has covered a lot of details there as well that um, new players coming in with wastelanders won't see but, uh, things like the stash limits being much much lower and uh, um, as we pointed out on stream the other day, nights used to be a lot darker, a lot darker. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face, so things like that, and uh, countless other bits and pieces as well. Launch of uh, play of ending, stuff like that. But uh, we all experienced the game before these things came out, so, you know, a little bit of a, a badge of honour would be very, very cool. I'd like to see a Founders tag come in for everybody who's here pre-Wastelanders or something like that, but uh, I don't imagine they'll go down that road. So, Fallout 76 and Wastelanders are coming to Steam. When, 70, when Wastelanders launches on April 7th, Fallout 76 will also make its way onto Steam. Both Fallout 76 Wastelanders version and the Wastelanders Deluxe Edition will be available to purchase in the Steam store. You'll also be able to pick up Atoms, a Fallout First membership, a Tricentennial pack, and the Raider and Settler content bundles through Steam. So... If you already have Fallout 76 on Bethesda Net, you will not be able to transfer your Atoms or your Fallout First membership balance between Bethesda Net and Steam. Additionally, Atoms you earn are specific to one or the other platform. However, items you've purchased through the Atomic Shop will be shared across both platforms, Bethesda Net and Steam. So, something to bear in mind if you're thinking about buying the game again on Steam so that you can have all your games in one place. Personally, I don't find having multiple launches to be that big a deal. Um, I could see why you might do that if you're a new player, given that um, all the other games are available through both Bethesda Net and Steam as well. So you've got like, the Doom series and uh, Wolfenstein and everything else that Bethesda publish. You can get it through Bethesda Net, you can get it on Steam. So if you've already got some of it on Steam, hmm, maybe you should keep it on that platform. I don't know. To each their own, but there's food for thought. So... That is all the big news, apart from the details on the trailers. So, yeah, very, very cool. Glad we've got a release date. Would have liked to have been right on it, but, you know, April 7th is fine. Technically quarter two, but we'll learn more. A little bit of uh, promise based on the fact that they're releasing the um, release date right now, and that it bodes well for the game, and very, very cool. So, I did say I was going to dissect this trailer today, and... Uh, this video has taken a little longer than I hoped to put together. I'm going to push that one back to tomorrow and we'll do it in a separate video tomorrow. So do watch this space for that one. For now, yeah, very, very excited for this. Very, very uh, pleased to see this, the release date and everything else. Can't wait to get stuck into Wastelanders and I hope you guys are as hyped as I am. If you're looking forward to getting a bit of a fix for Fallout in the meantime, then uh, do watch this space. She'll be streaming the game over the next few days as well and probably some more Doom later on as well. Had a good bit of fun playing that. So do watch out for those social media links down in the description as always if you want to catch up with me on instagram twitter or facebook and if you're really enjoying the content please consider dropping likes subs etc etc and maybe even becoming a channel member as well the support is hugely appreciated just had our first uh, hangout session on the stream for channel members as well earlier this week so that was very really cool for now i'll say thank you very much for watching enjoy your gameplay and i look forward to seeing you all very very soon